Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning back in and welcome back. We're going to start off with this um, kind of soft romantic cut crease look, a highlighter. Um, I went in initially with the Marc Jacobs, this is the Coconut Perfecting Undercover Primer. It's really nice, it's really moisturising. I have really, really dry, dehydrated skin and so I don't really like using silicone based primers so this one is perfect uh, for that. And then just to counteract some of the redness, I went in with the B6 uh, Vitamin Spray by Urban Decay. I don't know if it actually does that, but my skin seems to really like it at the moment. And I then went in with um, the Kiko Lip Scrub Exfoliator just to kind of prep my lips for um, liquid lipstick later on. Um, they're feeling quite dry um, and kind of gross at the moment, so I just went in with that and then put some lip balm on them. I then, just to kind of cover up any additional redness or any breakouts, I went in with the NYX colour correcting palette and used the green. Um, this is brilliant for correcting redness, um, correcting um, kind of acne scars and blotting. And you can also see my cat in the background there as well turning over. Um, I put this basically anywhere I had redness on, any really bad blemishes, any kind of flare ups, any kind of damaged skin. Um, I do have like some scarring on my chin at the moment that just won't go away so I put a lot of the um, um, corrector there just kind of counteract that and I then um, kind of buffed it in lightly with like a, I think this is actually an eye setting brush or a crease contour brush from Real Techniques I'm not exactly sure of the name but this is really good for like buffing out concealer um, and buffing out um, things like this, like anything that's got like a kind of concealer consistency. I then went in with uh, my matte and poreless Maybelline and I also went in with the New Look um, foundation which I actually really like. I have done a blog post on this, I will actually leave it in the link below. I used um, the New Look foundation mostly because the foundation I wanted to use is too dark for me at the moment and so I mixed the two together just to get the perfect kind of in-between shade um, so I dotted a very small amount of that on um, with that and then used my New Look Makeup Fix Setting Spray on a damp beauty blender just so that I could blend it all in and I don't think it's actually possible to do makeup without making some kind of strange face I can't do it without doing that uh, I don't know if anybody else has that problem, let me know. But it doesn't really matter what you seem to do, you just can't do makeup without making a ridiculous face. Um, the new look in particular states that it's mattifying. I actually don't really feel that. It's got a very glowy look to it um, and it's quite dewy looking. So, I mean, if you're looking for a matte heavy coverage foundation, this is not it. Um, it does, I, I don't think it's got a massive amount of coverage, I mean it, it certainly like covered up the majority of my redness but I did have to go back in with an additional layer just to cover any areas that maybe needed a little bit more kind of covering up. Um, but it is definitely, it's nice and buildable and it sits really nice on the skin once it's blended in. Um, I then went in with the perf um, Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Um, this is in shade 1 Fair. This is not my favourite concealer, but I have it and I need to use it up before I can move on to another one, so I thought I would use it. Um, and I basically just put this under the eyes to brighten it and then down the centre of my face as well, just to kind of balance that out. Um, and then what worked it in with a damp beauty sponge. I did put a little bit on my eyes as well, um, just to kind of, kind of, I've got really red eyelids at the moment, so it was just kind of counteract any redness there as well. Um, and you can see I'm just kind of blending it in and buffing it in and working it into the skin. I tend to find, especially for my skin type, because I do have really dry, dehydrated skin, the best thing for me to use is a beauty blender because the um, dampness from the sponge really helps work the product in without it kind of clinging to dry patches. For a setting powder, I went in with MAC Lightscapade. This is actually a, a mineralized skin finish, but like a highlighter. Um, but I actually find that for me personally, it's not kind of bling enough. It's not um, as pigmented as I would like for it. It's very soft. So I actually use it as a setting powder because it sets my makeup nicely. 
Um, I then went in with the NYX eyeshadow base in white. Again, I do kind of mix between this and my MAC paint pots. Um, but I'm kind of trying this out at the moment and it seems to be like, really good as a base for um, eyeshadows. It really makes them pop um, and it really makes them stand out. Um, so I really love uh, using this at the moment and it blends out really nicely as well. Um, and I tend to, it's kind of like the same with the matte paint point, I have to set it um, with a, a kind of skin tone colour or a really light um, eyeshadow. And I went in with Charmer from the Tartlet and Bloom palette to do that. Um, these eyeshadows are, I hate saying buttery, but I mean they are, they're so buttery, they're so blendable. Um, and just Tarte's eyeshadow um, palettes and eyeshadows in general are really good quality. I then went in with um, kind of a slightly darker shade um, to kind of go into the crease and just warm up the eye a bit um, and it was just to kind of help really build a base for the eye look. I wanted to go with something really soft and romantic so I'm just working the colours up. Um, the first shade that I went in there you saw that was dark, slightly darker was Smarty Pants um, and I'm going in just with this slightly more um, kind of rosy taupe shade and just kind of working that over the same colour in the crease just kind of building a bit of depth um, and going under the eyes as well. Um, so that was Sweetheart. I then went in with this kind of orange copper shade. Um, the majority, like all the looks I did in the crease are all matte with the exception of the one that I go with in the inner corner and again slightly darker shade just kind of working that in and then I went for this is very similar to I think it's Cherry Cola uh, by Makeup Geek I would put that in the crease and then went in with Grenadines I think by NARS um, this is just a single eyeshadow and it's just a really gorgeous like really pretty berry shade um, and I worked that into the crease just with a really really light hand um, and then just kind of buffed it in until I got the kind of look that I was going for. Um, I then decided I wanted to do like a half kind of cut crease. Um, so I went in with my MAC Pro Longwear in NC15 um, on a kind of, I believe this is a lip detail brush um, by Real Techniques. Um, and then changed the brush because I decided it just wasn't working. Um, and actually went in with an eyeliner brush by Rimmel. Um, and so basically worked this from the inner just to the kind of middle to outer third of the eye um, and placed that and I then go back in with that light uh, bone shade um, in the palette just to set it and keep it like kind of locked in place. Um, and just pack that on basically just to stop my, um, just to stop it from moving about creasing or anything like that. With any kind of look it looks quite daunting but I mean a half cut crease or any kind of cut crease you've, you've just really got to understand your eye shape. Um, I've got quite a hooded eye so I tend to go just slightly either below or just slightly above the crease um, but you just need to know what your eye shape is and find out what works for you. Um, I then went back in with um, some of the darker shades in the palette just to um, add a little bit more depth on the outer corner but to also um, blend both the half cut crease and the outer third of the eye just to blend them together so it doesn't look so harsh um, and then just went back in with a big buffing, buffing shader brush just to kind of blend that all out. I then went in with a Funny Girl um, from the Tarte palette and I um, sprayed my brush with Fix Plus to do that um, and then went in with um, this NYX white liner on the crease just to create like a kind of definitive cut crease look and then um, applied a coating of the Falsies Volume Express Waterproof. This is, I have really straight lashes and so if I don't use something that's waterproof it doesn't keep the curling so this is perfect for that and I then went over it with Ico, I believe this is um, yeah, Rock Out and Lash. Uh, mascara and the brush shape is really interesting, it's really good for coating all your lashes. I then went back in with Funny Girl from the Tarte palette on the um, eyebrow and just on the like brow bone 
and then use the Rimmel nude pencil on the waterline just to open up the eyes and then went in and did the under eyes with a coating again of the Maybelline mascara. Um, I then did start doing I didn't really want to contour or bronze too heavily because I wanted the eyes to be the focus of the look so I just went in with a very light hand um, and went in with Hula by Benefit just the original normal shade um, and kind of just did the cheekbones and um, under the uh, cheekbones and like around the perimeter of the face basically. I then went in with the Sleek Illuminator in Monaco, um, just on the uh, kind of kind of high highest points of the face, um, and I actually used this as a base for my highlighter because I wanted to have something my highlighter could stick to. So I actually just go in with this initially, and then blend it out with my Beauty Blender, and then go over it with another highlighter just to kind of really make it pop and stand out, which you will see. Um, so I'm just blending this in. Um, just to make sure it's all seamless and there's no harsh lines and then went in with this um, blush duo from Sephora um, and just mix basically the both shades together just to get like a nice flush on the cheeks and then blended it upwards and then went in with the glow kit gleam glow kit by Anastasia and went in with mimosa just on the outer perimeter I just wanted to warm up and give it a bit more of a glow where anywhere where I applied hula um, and then I actually went in with, I believe it's Crushed Pearl, um, over the top of that um, liquid highlighter from Sleek, just to really make it stand out and pop. And I put that again on the high points of the face, so um, the nose, the... Um, cheekbones, the cupid's bow, basically just put it everywhere and steeped myself in highlighter because I just don't think you can ever have too much. Um, I then went in with one of my favourite MAC lip pencils, this is Spice, um, just to outline the lips. I have a very big collection of MAC lip pencils but this seems to be the one that I always go back to. Um, this and Soar are probably the two of my two favourites. Um, and they're really creamy but they're not too creamy um, so they're not just going to wear away to nothing on the lips you can see I'm clearly having issues applying it um, but it's really easy to kind of wipe off and come back and then I went in with the Stila liquid lipstick in Patina um, just all of this is just a really nice rose nude kind of mauve shade um, just a quite a cool shade and I put that all over the lips and then just patted out the excess as well um, just to stop it from looking too harsh or just so that it, it, I wanted it to look quite soft and romantic and really wanted it to tie in nicely with the eyes. Yeah, and then decided at the end of it just to go on with a bit of highlighter just to make my lips stand out a bit more and that's the finished look. Um, if you've got any questions guys please leave comments below, I really hope you enjoy it. Um, I had quite a lot of fun creating this look, so thank you for watching. Bye!